when we're doing comprehension, we want to get children to think and to reason um, and also to predict. So uh, I began my lesson with, with pictures and the children had to look at the pictures and, and predict what the story would be about. Right, I'm going to put a picture up on the board. And I want you to look at the picture and tell me what you think the picture is all about. Okay? I'm going to be telling you a story. But before I tell you the story, you're going to look at the picture and then you're going to tell me what you think the story is going to be about. Okay, so you can pick up your hands and you can share your ideas about what you think of this picture. Let me see. Yes. The boy is scared because he's holding his blanket. So we see this boy and we can see that he's scared of something. Now let's see what he's scared of. Okay, this gives us a better idea, doesn't it? Right, let me see. Sipokazi, why don't you tell me what, what do you see on this picture? I see a monster. So we see a monster behind the door over here. So I'm going to read you a story now. And the story is going to be about this little boy that's very scared of the monster. Are we all looking at the screen? Yes, ma'am. Right. The name of the story is The Closet Creature. Pump, pump, scratch. Adam opened his eyes and pulled the covers up to his chin. He stared around his room, searching the darkness for the thing that was making these scary sounds. After I read the comprehension passage to the children, uh, I asked the children then to read the passage uh, for me. Inside. They would sign fine, but when we don't find anything you have to promise, to leave me alone for the rest of my of the of the night. Pull the case of one of the fellows. He opened the fellow case. You open the door very slowly, and I'll grab whatever it is. A crap. Something fell against the door. Try to force it open. Adam took a deep breath and opened the door. When the children were reading the comprehension passage, there were a few words that they had difficulty pronouncing or words that they didn't really understand the meaning. So what I did is uh, take all those difficult words and write it on the chalkboard. Uh, we then went through the words so they could get a better understanding of the words and also pronounce the words correctly. You scoop something from the ground. How many of you have dogs at home? Okay, when your dog messes, you will scoop up his mess. Palms, show me your palms boys and girls. Show me your palms. Yes, these are your palms. We have a silent L. We don't say palms, we say palms. So there's a silent L in that word. Uh, when we were doing our comprehension, uh, we revised some of the language uh, concepts uh, parts of sentence construction. We went through verbs, uh, nouns and adjectives and children had to then look for verbs and nouns in the comprehension passage. Every year in the annual national exam there's always a question based on sequencing so it's important when we're doing comprehension uh, to, get use, to get children used to the idea of putting sentences in the correct sequence. So within the lesson I got children to come out in front and uh, take the four sentences that I had and put them in the correct order. And uh, we find if, if they do it physically first and where they come out and actually do it, they do actually get a better understanding of it. He jumped into David's bed. Let's see, Adam heard scary sounds and he jumped into David's bed. And what comes after that? 
Yes, you are correct. Give him a round of applause. Okay, Nazim, let's give you a chance. Come and show us what should come next. Okay, read the sentence quickly. Thank you very much, Nazim. Here we go. Well done. Okay, I suppose we all know which, the, which is the last one, so I'm going to get someone to help me anyway. Glaseri, can you come forward, please? And bring the last one out. Thank you, Lucidi. There we go. Okay. So the, the, the story is now correctly in sequence. Okay. Thank you. We ended our, our lesson in a fun way. Uh, we did a song on a cat. Uh, it was a specific cat song and um, it was indirectly related to the comprehension passage uh, which had to do with the cat that was in the sample. We're going to end up today's lesson with the kitty cat song. Let's all begin together. One, two, three. Hey, kitty, kitty.